Welcome to episode 107 of the Two Minute Warning. Today on the table, we got Marcus Saul joining the Los Angeles Lakers and really what this means for himself and the Lakers. Really, in a very oversimplified version, it's good news for everyone all around with, between Marcus Saul and the Lakers organization. I thought initially before the Montrezl Harrell, Harrell, sign, Harrell signing, the Marcus Saul signing, I thought the Lakers were pursuing Serge Ibaka. Obviously, he signed with the Clippers. Solid move by the Clippers, but in my opinion, if it was just between Marcus Saul and Serge Ibaka, I would have taken Marcus Saul. Marcus Saul has a defense player of the year. He can shoot a three when he gets a wide open look. Serge can somewhat shoot, but he's more of a rebounder in the paint type of guy. And Mark can do just as good as Serge does in the paint as Serge Ibaka. And then you add Montrez, Montrez Harrell in that um, addition to the Lakers. And really, they're just making all kinds of moves this offseason that I don't see a reason they don't go back to back. I think they are outplaying... Pretty much, I don't want to say everyone in free agency. The Suns are making a good run at them between picking up Jay Crowder and Chris Paul, but they're serious contenders and their previous rivals from last year. They're outplaying the Clippers in free agency. They're outplaying the Nuggets in free agency. The Heat picked up, re-signed Goran Dragic and Avery Bradley, which they took from the Lakers. So there's some heat there, but really in free agency, I got to give the Los Angeles Lakers an A+. And Marcus Gasol, like I said, former defensive player of the year. He's older now, he's 35 years old, same age as LeBron, but that veteran type of talent that could be a role player is just perfect for the Los Angeles Lakers. That's kind of the system they roll in, run it through Anthony Davis and Dennis Schroeder, their younger guys, and you could still rely on now LeBron and Marcus Gasol, your older guys, to pick up the pace also. I just really think this entire lineup, I don't know who's gonna start for the Lakers. They might actually throw, I thought, before the Marcus Gasol thing, Pick up, they would have LeBron at the point guard, Dennis Schroeder at shooting guard, Wesley Matthews, small forward, Anthony Davis, or Montrezl Harrell, power forward, and Anthony Davis to center. Now they got Marcus Saul. I'm curious if he'll be starting, and this forces Montrezl Harrell to be the sixth man again, which I don't think he minds. Obviously, he just won sixth man of the year, but I do think he has the talent to be a starter on the team. No matter how it goes, I'm not the coach. I don't know how the lineup should work exactly. I think the Lakers have put together the weapons even before this Marcus Saul pickup to go back to back. And now this is just further depth between those guys of LeBron, AD, Marcus Saul, Dennis Schroeder, Wesley Matthews, and Mont Montrez Harrell. Doesn't matter which of those five you start and who's your sixth man. You still got more depth on the bench between Alex Caruso. They re signed KCP, overpaid him in my opinion, but still solid pickup and depth to add to the roster. JaVale McGee and Kyle, Kamu Kyle Kuzma. Not, not, not a lot of people are fans of Kuzma, but he's still developing. It's only like his second and gonna be third year. So there's still potential. It's too early to just call him a bust yet. But I understand where people are coming from. Overall, I just think the Lakers have put together a team that will take them back to back. They're outplaying everyone in free agency, arguably, if not second or third best. And I don't see a reason they won't go back to back unless a possible huge trade such as James Harden to the Nets occurs or Westbrook still needs to be traded. John Wall wants to be traded. A lot of things to play out still trading wise and free agency wise there's a couple of players with lots of talent left but as of right now the lakers are the front runners to go to the nba finals all in back to back that's what i got for marcus on the lakers two minute warning